Hi everybody. Hi there. A Yorkshire crafter. How are you doing? Still broken. We're all good. Um, I, I'm struggling a bit. I'm not going to lie. So I've prepped some of this. Just a die cutting. So normally I'd run over and do it, wouldn't I? But I'm having to hold down like this and do with this hand. Even though I'm right handed, I normally do it with this hand. So yeah, I found it a bit, a bit challenging, should I say. So, what we're going to do is I'll show you the bits that I've cut. So, today is actually about, um, who says you have to colour your die cuts in? Your, your stamped ones. Who says that you have to colour them in? Nobody. So, before we get started, if you guys can do me a favour and like and share the video, or the, even the channel at any point whatsoever, Really appreciate that. Um, let you know we've got a Facebook group, Heidi the Ox Crafter. Um, it's very popular now, isn't it? It's so good though. Everybody's so nice. Everybody helps each other out. So we can't grumble, can we? It's getting harder to um, see everybody, if you know what I mean. It's moving a bit quicker now, a bit at a time. It's getting like that, like that, and, it's, and then it's off. Just looking at that brush. That's funny, it's a blue brush. I don't know what colour I've touched with that. Not blue anyway. <laughs> um, what else have I got to tell you? Any affiliate links? Um, like I say, it doesn't cost you to use them, but it helps me. So I get a couple of pence if you buy something through one of my links for Amazon. I'll only ever give you the best stuff. If I don't like it, I won't put it. If I've seen it cheaper somewhere else, I don't. I can't link that, but I'll let you know. So there's loads in group that tells you all this. You'll see all sorts in group. Um, we've just found the what is it? Big shot. I got my big shot for fifty quid. It was the first machine I had. I had it bought for me second hand, um, just off marketplace on Facebook. And whether they've got a new one coming out or not, I know they've just brought the big electric one out, but um, it's 68 quid on Amazon. 68 quid for a brand new one. Can't fault it. Can't fault it at all. Right. Let me show you. Right, I'll tell you what. It's this. I've got stacks this high of backgrounds of anything and everything and I thought it was time to use them up but when I was going through these I realised this isn't what I wanted but it's sort of like this that I wanted I wanted a an edging and I saw this and I thought I might be able to use that let me just look because I can't even pick things up I've got no grip um, no, it's not working the way I want, so we'll do, I'll show you what I have done instead. Anyway, I am going to start bringing these into it. If that had had a white border, that would have worked absolutely fantastic. But it's just not working for what I want. I want that border. So, yeah, we're going to start doing stuff using us. Um, they're not scraps, are they? The panels. So, so what we're doing today? Panels. <laughs> we're doing exactly what I've got a load of, but I need that white edge. It doesn't look right. I've tried it without it, but it, it just doesn't do for me. So we're on Strathmore, but this is scrap. What I stamped on oh, a good couple of years ago, this, this is a long form die and I never did do out with it. So I just, I've just i just cut them all down and I'm using them. I told you, two sides to a piece of card. So what we're going to do, I'm going to show you the dies that I've cut out. Thank you. 
it's took me two days to cut these out that's how much i'm struggling so this one comes from the spellbinders lily arch a lot of these aren't gonna have sentiments on yet because i don't know i need a lot of birthday cards for you guys for coming up for july i've got most of them i mean it'll be already in july now by the time you see this but i could do with quite a few then we've got this one and that's from the Gina K Smile Today. I love that. I'm going to do something else with this as well. Not today, but after looking at it today, I thought, oh yeah. This one, Stay Positive, Gina K. We're using the big one. I've cut this, but I don't know if I'm going to use it. I thought I wish I'd done that now, but I didn't. So, that's them too. That looks like a lolly, doesn't it? It looks like a flower lolly. They're lovely just done in white, aren't they? I love them. And do you know what's... <laughs> this sounds really sad. I like the sound of die cuts. You know when they touch each other? <laughs> Sorry, I can't help it. Um, This one is the Gina K Birds of a Feather. I used this recently. But we've used this one. Nope. Oh, yeah. That's that one. Spellbind Spellbinders Hydrangea Bouquet from January 23. A lot of these, like I said, are the first outings. I do have another with some leaves, but I'm not going to use them, so I didn't even keep it out. I don't think I'm going to use them. I'm not using all these. I've cut loads of each out. And this is definitely first out in. I got this for one specific reason, which I'll show you. So we've cut out the two mice here, grinding the coffee. We've cut out the mouse with the coffee beans. And we've cut out... The mouse, helping the other mouse, push down to get his coffee. I love this. Colorado Craft Company are absolutely phenomenal. And I've got quite a few and I just don't use them. But I can now, can't I? Now that we're onto all different stamps. So that's your stamps that we've cut out. I'm using some blending brushes from Inkylicious. Um, I was using my normal brushes. So I've, I've got my brushes out, but I thought I hadn't used these yet. And I love these because they come with a label for the side, like that. And then one for the top of your brush, so you know what it is. I love that. I might as well get rid of rubbish now. Three for nine quid, you can't knock it, can you? Right. I'm using my spinny thing it's just easier for me i can't i a very little i can't i can't explain i can't pick up up properly so i'm gonna go with some let's go with some seedless preserve right i'm using i didn't know you couldn't see i'll move this to the side a bit in fact, I'll get rid of that paper now. I should be all right without it now. This is the waffle flower mat for holding your ink pads. Ink, ink pads, not ink pants. And we'll go with a bit of picked raspberry. But first of all, we're using, I might end up using new ones. I'll just see how these play out. We do quite a few panels. I'm only bothered about making about three cards. I've got to be careful. I'm not supposed to be even crafting, actually. But you just can't not. I know you guys want to carry on seeing the videos, and I know you wouldn't mind if I, if I wasn't doing them because of what's wrong. But I want to do them. I 
I saw this um, being used on Create and Craft. And it's a, what they call it, cutting board. I never cut, I don't know what like that. But I just thought, that's got to help me with my blending. I mean, my, my mat's brilliant what I use, but not while I'm in pot, it's not. Right, hopefully that should be okay. Um, I'm going to use my brushes for this because I already used them earlier, so I might as well have these ones out. I knew I had paper out for a reason. So I'm just going to dab, I'm just tapping onto paper. What have I gone in? Pink, haven't I? I'm just putting two colours on. And actually, the darker your background, the um, the better the result, I think. It makes the white die cut stand out. Oh, I meant to cut all insides for cards before I started, and I forgot. All I'm doing is cutting down a white piece of card for, you know, some of them are going to have a coloured base. You can tell which are juicy and which aren't, can't you? But the pink's not so juicy. Have I just told you this is this draft more I'm working on? I think I did. So where it's blending together in the middle there, I'm going quite light-handed. panel's done. Definitely have to cut that down. I didn't get the edge. So I'll just put that to the side for a minute. Nice and easy. I keep mucking my glasses and I can't. My hands are absolutely black. And playing with ink today. Um, no, let's go a different colour. I was going to do another lot of pinks. I definitely want a... Right. Tea dye. And vintage photo. Actually, I think I only use one of them. Let's have a, let's have a look. I like it when we can reuse stuff. This is um, Gina K. I'll show you. Masking magic strips. Because I'm too lazy to cut me on. That's them. You can do all sorts with them. They're very handy. I mean, probably if I were sat down and I didn't have to worry about time and stuff, I'd cut me on. I've cut me on many a time. But I didn't want to.
It was lovely and cool this morning here and it's all gone all warm again. You seriously can't win, can you? So ideally, I want to do two of this panel. Now I don't want it to be even, but I do want it to cover the full. It's a lovely colour that, isn't it? Tea dye. Really does look like um, a tea dye, doesn't it? Go get your tea bags and stick them on your card. Hey, I bet you could do something with that, you know, tea bags. Oh, I can't stand the smell of tea, so you won't be getting it from me. Now I'm trying to make it a little bit of blotchy. So I had a stencil and I wanted to use it, but I didn't have out to go with it. So I wanted to use these. So this is why I bought the big set. I bought all this to go with one um, um, stencil. Also, I'm going to give you the link to my magnets. I put my old magnets in back to look after my stencils, stencils, my dies. So I've got coffee cup stains and it's a Catherine Pooler. I've had it a long time. I, I did. I used to do a set of cards with um, a sloth on it, having a coffee break. So that's what I originally got the stencil for. So now I'm putting that one away. I'm going to use gathered twigs. I'm going to use the other. And all I'm going to do is come in with a dark one. And stencil it up. Absolutely love this stencil, mate. It sounds funny, just stenciling such hard work for me right now. Oh, why don't you move that idea? That's what you got it for. I think that's it. That looks like Olympics, doesn't it? While that's out, I'm just going to smush a bit of this down. Far too much. They'll all be getting splattered, but this is the only one getting splattered in brown. Don't you just love that already? I absolutely love that. There we go. I'll clean the stencil after. So what time are we going to chat? I think how many panels to do. I love that. Just as it is. So we'll leave that to dry in a minute. And now we'll come in with... Let's do...
Let's do a blue and a... I've, I've gone way out of my comfort zone with some of them. I've gone for colours that you wouldn't normally dream of putting together. And I might as well use a couple more of these. It's a bit easier, isn't it? That's got green on it. Oh, right. I want some new strips. I used some with these on, with the thicker ones. And I didn't like too much white. So I was, I wasn't winning my battle. So I'm going to put some fresh strips on. What have you all got planned this coming week? Is there a lot of you going away in July? Well, I know a lot of us are grandparents and what have you. But do you have um, kiddie, grandkid duties? I definitely do. I've still got... Um, I have Toby for two of the weeks out of the six. John is other grandma will have him for two. And then mum and dad will have him for two. Crazy, isn't it? I mean, Ashley and Brian, they, they pay an absolute fortune for child, child care. It's just, it's phenomenal, it's ridiculous. Oh, I could do loads of panels. I, do, I never think to get these brushes out. That colour's stunning. What colour is that? Mustard seed. I really like that. Right, don't let me down. How easy that goes on. Wow. They're a bit nice them. There's too many brushes on market, honestly. It's one thing I'm a sucker for. I've had some rubbish brushes, but I've had some really good. These are fantastic. And then nicely in the middle where they meet, give you that little bit of green. Look how nice that is. Oh, we'll go a bit darker with blue. Wow, that is a lot darker. Then nice and light again when you come to edge. And then there's no reason why we can't blend that lovely. I think that's just gorgeous. We'll put that one to dry. So we've done a pink, blue and green, a brown. Put these away as I'm using them. I've already got some panels done as well. We can just make them up. 25. I'll do one more and then we'll see what we can make up. 
Oops. Where did that come from? That one came from there. I could do with putting on it that it's yellow, couldn't I? That'll do. Not going to forget that. Did I put that wrong way around? Yes. Silly pillow. So it's all right, isn't it? So you can see through it to see your uh, see your colours. Cool that. I don't have one for this, so I'm actually just going to gonna use that label. That'll do. Oh, that really does hurt. You don't realise how much you take your wrist for granted. This comes off as well. It's pretty cool. I got mine off Create and Craft. I bought one ages ago to put my electric machine on. But my electric machine was too heavy so it never turned. So that was a waste. Right, let's go. We'll just do these two. Peacock feathers and shaded lilac. therapeutic actually doing these ones I've got some ideas coming um, when I did my all for the uh, my video for the all on create haul I ended up putting it all back in box it were it was too much if you know what I mean for my head I passed a couple of stamps on people asked about them and I thought well I ain't ever gonna get through them all so I've passed some on and I've put some in for the buy me a coffee giveaways when we do the lives. Even the lives have got so popular now. The questions that I've got coming up for the Sunday the 7th, I think we we're going to end up doing one week before because they're just, they've gone crazy. Right, I'm going to go back to my brushes so I'm not having to get the others out. Again, this is a big contrasted one, so. I don't mind using either the brushes dry or the ink pads dry. I think it might be my brush actually. Yeah, because there's definitely ink on that. Oh, that helped. <laughs> I've got that many brushes out on the go. I, um, I've been trying to move them all around and everything. And yeah, a lot of them have dried up because they haven't been used like forever. And I washed some and I said I'd never do that again. But I did. Right, I don't have a purple there, do I? I can't see one. Uh, it hasn't been used, has it? Oh, it has. Oh, well. It's going purple now. It's not 
dark enough. I might have to use the... No, I don't know why I picked this one because it, it's never darkened for what I want it for. I'm going to go seedless preserves. Now it's one extreme to another now. That's better. You think that same purples, and then when you put them next to each other and start using them, they're absolutely not. Totally different. I'm not liking that bush at all. That's better. I haven't put any more ink on that, I'm just blending both them colours together there. That'll work. That looks alright to me. That's fine. I'll have to sort my colours out after. I can't do it. No, that is the right way to do it. Helps if you put it in that stuff with, doesn't it? Right. So I'll put these away. I've got loads of inks out. Right, I'll just chuck these out at where. Right, I'm going to give them a, a quick blast. Or oh, shall I do my splatter first? I'll give them a quick blast. And then they're all going to have a bit of black splatter. That's why I did the brown one before. We got a lovely surprise for the Porsche yesterday. A cream tea. It's amazing what you can have sent now, isn't it? They were lovely. We had it for tea today. Well, not for tea, but yeah, it was very nice. Much appreciated. I do get some nice things sent. Just try these spots. And then this one. That's a lovely colour, that one, isn't it? I 
mean, some of you will probably think now that I've gone crazy and that I've just ruined it all. Get rid of these as well. Because I'm going to splatter it all with black, apart from that brown one. Where did I put my black? Oh, it's here. I'm just using a bit of Alter New. Just taking the wet that's already on my brush. And I'm just gonna, can you see that? You'll see it when I come into the middle. Yeah, I've gone red out again. That's it. I'd have rather have had a lot of bigger dots, but I can always put some gems on. And we'll decide what colour bases we're having as we go along now. Amazing how far that splatter goes, isn't it? So I'll take these off and then we'll give it a blast. Sorry about my arm. One. So they look nice with that edging on. It just weren't the right way to have it with no edging. It just didn't work for me. Most of these nearly dry. Hello, sweetheart. That's me, is there? Yeah, there's not a lot of black on that one. I think I've ever used my, my black acrylic paint, which is what I normally splatter with. It just stood out more, but this is fine. This didn't look lovely on this one. There we go. I'm just going to... This is my fan, what I have. This isn't my aircon one. This is my one that I just have. I've been shoving it up and down my pot. Believe it or not, there's a lot of cold goes down there like that. So I'm just going to stand it behind me because I'm getting warm. And hopefully you won't hear that. Oh, gosh, that's nice. I'm sorry if you can hear it. Just look at that. I love that. So that one is going to go on a, a brown base, which I've got already, I think. I've got a top fold, but I didn't know if I were doing top fold. Let me have a look. I've already got, I've done a top fold one of this. It's the only kind of practiced. I just wanted my colouring right, that's all. Oh, I really hope you can't hear it, but boh, it feels good. So that'll go on there. And that's got black splatter all over it, but I've got a clean one. And then this'll go on here. So I already practiced this one, which is this. 
Oh, I want a bit heavier with colour there. I like that colour better. So I was thinking... What about... No, I don't like the way that I'd have to... Put these bits out of it. Now that could go there and that's it there. That's an awful lot. I, I am going to put a coffee sentiment there, but, and I've cut them out. And I looked high and low before I came on there, but I can't find them. But it'll be a coffee, really, oh, they're here. See, they'll have to be fussy cut out. Everything gets better with coffee. Stress blessed and coffee obsessed. Let me get me. I probably won't even be a bit of fussy cut, will I? Somebody mentioned on one of my videos, and I just thought it was genius, and you probably already know, but to fussy cut, I think it was Gillian that mentioned it. Um, if you think you're no good at fussy cutting, draw around it in pencil. And then just cut on your pencil. I thought that was a genius idea. Sure it was Gillian. Gillian Scott. I could be wrong. I talk to that many people. I feel dead ignorant sometimes, you know. Um, somebody will say something to me and they'll say, oh, oh, I don't even know. Um, or like somebody will say, did you get your card? And I've got to ask them which one, even though we've had a conversation about what they've been sending and what have you. I've talked to so many people privately and I do, I feel I feel really rude half at the time and I'm not I can't hold it so it's going to be really hard for me to cut they say to just turn your paper I don't find that that easy you know I don't mind fussy cutting, but I don't find it as easy as they say. It'll be sort of like it, won't it? Not that bad. I stamped these, there's four dies in this set, and I stamped these two, and the only two that don't come with dies. Of course they are. See, this is my problem with fussy cutting. I'm too critical of it. Oh, I can't be today because I can't get it right. So that would go if we did a side one. I don't know if it stands out as much as that. Let's cut it. What are we on? Five, four. Let's do it. This really is going to be... Well, it's not even going to be fussy. It's just going to be cut. <laughs> I can't hold it. Remind me never to fall getting out of the shower again. Good job I don't drink, innit? I'm not going to use this, I know I'm not, because it's a mess. It's not that bad, is it? Oh. No. I'm sticking with me. 
be aware that I like. Where's the stamp gun? Here it is. So I'll stick the base down. Oh, come on. I haven't had it. Um, I was going to say. I haven't had the lid on it for weeks. That's really going to come out of there, isn't it? So they'll have a little white um, piece on the inside. And if I remember, I may even put a little coffee cup stain inside. Let's see if I've got any pieces cut out. going to guess and cut that off there and that off there It weren't a bad guess, were it? I'll take that. That looks like it's got a coffee stain on it. going to put it in this bottom corner. You don't see me decorate inside the cards, do you? <laughs> I love it. Oh, I do make myself laugh sometimes. I'm going to go... Oh, I'll go back again. That's brill. It's not something you open a card and see every day, is it? Alright there, Lexi Dog. Right, I'll stick this down. like them. The idea is just to not have to colour in. We all hate it, don't we? Well, most of us. Took a strip, take both sides of your tape off and you can manipulate the tape then. So, I really wanted it just for his tail there. So, if we don't stick his tail down, it'll get broke. I 
There we go. I'll turn that heater down in a minute. I'll turn the um, speed down. Because I can hear that really loud now. I'll turn it down now. I've got it just going on one. It's enough on the back of my... I won that in a raffle and we liked it that much before we went to Turkey last year we bought another we only eight or nine quid off Amazon we do like bargains don't we and we'll go up the handle Like that. This one should be enough then. We'll come from there, down there, over there. Oh, up there. I just want one tiny little bit on his tail. Shouldn't use these scissors, but that should do nicely. Just gonna sit him on there but let his tail come out of the colour. And then I will put um a sentiment on. Let's do it. Might as well we've cut it out, haven't we? use this I don't want to use my fussy cutting ones I got my new Tim Holt scissors did I show you they are super duper sharp I've got about 30 pairs of scissors me and they were gobsmacked when they saw them in the head why do you order more scissors because I have a thing about scissors. Right, we best get one of them others into a car, don't we? They're straightforward stuck down anyway, and I'm not putting sentiments on them. Tell you, I should have, I should be way further on, but I really am struggling with my wrist. I never said ankle then. And these will go out as um, birthday cards, probably. That'll do. So I'll put them to the side a minute while we get another one done. So we'll go for this one. What colour base? The only bases I've got done are green and white. That's not going to go. It doesn't want to be white. do not want to be any of them. Will that go? I don't think so. 
It will. That'll do it, won't that? Oh, no. I don't know where me. I only ever put it in one place. I don't know where it is. Oh, it's here. It's inside of me. It's one of the best things I've ever bought and all. And I only got it last week. It was off somebody else's recommendation. My bases are always spot on now. I'm going to do it that way around. I'm going to use my tape so we're a bit quicker. I'm sorry if I've um, taken too long. It's not easy. And um, for that one, we'll use the daffodil. Um, I'll stick it back quick with some of these. Right, I don't want it on that end. I know that's going to be cut off. Come on. Put it in my lap. Down to put a lot more on this, but I'll push for time. So I want it to come down to the bottom. There we go. I can see that. Stands out a mile. So that's that one and I'll put a sentiment up there. Shall we do another one right quick? Um Will that look all right on there? It will work. 
we'll do this one right quick and then I'll do the others offline but I'll show you my bases. So I don't ever think now that you can't buy these flower dyes because you can't colour in or out like that. You don't have to colour in. And if you're not bothered about having the white space round, just use your backgrounds you've got. Everywhere. Um, I'm going to put that bit at the bottom. And we can use, we can come in flat. I'll do that on one of others. That's going to be flat. I might do it on there. Look. Yeah, I'll do that on there. This one can. Come in with both and then a sentiment here. I've got hello friend cut. Is that too much white? I quite like that. Do you like that? Oh, I could put that one down. I quite like that. So I'll do that one like that now. Offline. I'll do that one like that. And then these are some panels that I did earlier. So I'll just make them up as well. See what I mean about having it a bigger line? It's I prefer the smaller line. But I'll make these into cards. So it's just to show you, you don't have to colour them in. That had been so figgly to do. And I just... this is It's an easy cop-out actually, to be fair, isn't it? So I'll do them now. So I'll catch you when I do my next one. Or I'll see you on the live because we've probably got one coming up this week. Who knows? I don't even know what day it is. Catch you later. Bye.